as we develop uh, more um, and newer and better treatments in, uh, in treating non-small cell lung cancer, um, I think it's going to be important to see uh, and study how the anti-angiogenesis drugs that we have uh, may enhance the efficacy of these new um, classes of medications. Um, for instance, um, it's very possible that the um, anti-angiogenesis drugs like ramaciramab and, ramaciramab and bevacizumab will enhance uh, the activity of checkpoint inhibitors and also will um, enhance the um, activity of tyrosine kinase inhibitors. So um, we have preliminary yeah, so we have preliminary data um, showing that. So um, I'm interested in, in um, I look forward to more data of using um, bevacizumab and ramaciramab in combination with the newer drugs that we have. I also think that um, there needs to be further study of the anti-angiogenesis um, agents that we have in earlier stages of disease. Um, we have some, you know, right now, the standard of care for stages one, two, and three disease um, for systemic therapy would be chemotherapy. But um, we're you know, rapidly coming to a point where we may incorporate targeted therapies, immunotherapies, and I think we need to take another look at the anti-angiogenesis, anti-VEGF therapies as well. One of the most critical elements is finding biomarkers that predict for anti-angiogenic agents. And I can't say that we have clear validated biomarkers yet, but the field is rapidly evolving. And that is one area of research that we will need to focus on. The second major area is going to be looking at the combination of our anti-angiogenics with immunotherapies. There's already a slight signal that we see that there may indeed be a clinical synergistic benefit. So both of these are areas moving forward rapidly, and hopefully we'll begin to see some of the results of that within the next year or two. Besides anti-angiogenesis research and, and where anti-angiogenic drugs will play a role in the future, I really am excited about the role of immunotherapy in earlier stage disease, immunotherapy and targeted therapies. There's multiple uh, trials that are going on right now uh, looking at immunotherapy and resectable lung cancer. We just had data published in the New England Journal of Medicine looking at immunotherapy post-concurrent chemo radiation that has led to an approval. Uh, but I think we need to move the bar further and, and understand how both immunotherapy and targeted therapies can cure patients. Uh, and whether anti-angiogenesis added to these agents will augment that is unclear. Uh, and I think we'll have some, some studies looking at the combination as well in the curative setting. It's great that we're making meaningful improvements in outcome for stage four patients and even stage three, but we really want to cure patients. And, and by, if we want to cure patients, we have to start thinking about good designs of trials, looking at these drugs either before surgery or after surgery, or even after or before chemoradiation, and of course now we have it after chemoradiation for immunotherapy.